Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning call. We'll start with technical and derivatives outlook. So in yesterday's session, we saw that there was little bit of breather in the market. Although the market uh, remained at uh, uh, close at 80 points higher, it was a little bit of profit booking was seen. Overall, uh, yesterday was the expiry, monthly expiry. Month on month, the nifty, uh, uh, nifty future was up by 5.46%. And the bank nifty was uh, aggressively long and it was uh, expiry to expiry. It was up by 9.7%. So definitely the bank nifty is the one which is outperforming the market. Technically, what we see, uh, what we are seeing is uh, from the 17,400, the breakout was there. And from then, the nifty was almost rallied to 17,800 level. So we believe the 17,800 and 18,000 18, will be the time being resistance zone. As in when these levels are taken out on the high, on the upside, the fresh buying uh, uh, is visible on the charts. And the weekly and monthly charts are very positive. So we believe that the lowest level should be viewed as a buying opportunity. And we maintain that whenever 18,000 will be taken out very strongly, we will see a fresh lack of buying in the market. And the same level for the bank nifty comes at 41,840. Uh, we can round off it to 42,000. So whenever the bank nifty closes above 42,000 on the upside, we believe there will be a big uh, move in the bank nifty too. So both the nifty and bank nifty are very strong on from the weekly and monthly time frame. And uh, once we see a clear cut breakout on the upside, uh, we will see a very very good move on the uh, 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 on the higher side. Uh, the supports for the uh, Nifty is 17,400 and 17,200, and major supports come at 16,800. If 16,800 is broken, then we'll review the position. And for the Bank Nifty, the supports do come at 40,000. And uh, though the Bank Nifty, the, the major supports come at 37,000. That's too, uh, too, uh, too far from the current level. But then on an immediate basis, uh, we, can, uh, we can watch 40,000 as the uh, support levels. Coming to the derivatives data, so in yesterday's session, the longs were added in Nifty Future uh, to the tune of 5.39%, which was the addition of 7.92 lakh shares. Uh, and if we talk of the put call ratio, uh, it was at 0 0.96 and it had climbed to 0 0.97 uh, ratio. So it's slightly on the positive. So even the PCR will add strength when it, when it crosses one above one ratio. So we are watching for that. Uh, the major additions in the call options were uh, seen at 17,800 strike price at 82.37 million shares and 18,000 call option at 81.42 million shares. Whereas on the put option, 17,700 strike price saw 75.16 million addition of 75.16 million shares. Coming to bank nifty, even the bank nifty has added the long positions to the tune of 4.26%, uh, uh, which is the almost the additions of 1 lakh shares. While the major call options, uh, additions of call option was seen at the price of 41,300 at uh, 41.39 million shares and 41,500 price at 33.66 million shares. On the lower side, the put option, 41,000 put options uh, saw the additions by 30.71 uh, million shares. Coming to rollover data, so yesterday the rollover for the Nifty was seen at 76% and the previously the, the expiry, the rollover was 78%. So the rollover was less by 2.54%. And for the bank Nifty, uh, the rollover stood at 77% and the previous series, the rollover was 82%, which was less by 6.45%. So the rollovers were less. Uh, they are, uh, most of the short positions were uh, were exited in the market. So we need to understand key if uh, fresh buying do comes in the uh, market, then there is enough uh, space for the fresh buying to happen. The major, major reversal what we saw in yesterday's session was the FI data. So for the very first time, they, whatever they had is short position in the market, they have exited the short position and they have uh, they are net long in the market, uh, in the index future by 23,000 contracts. And this long short ratio, which was uh, waving with, within the range of 20 to 30 levels and uh, day before yesterday, it was at 34. Now it has come at 59%. So now uh, so almost they are 59% long in the market, which is a very good uh, sign. So we do believe that this 
things should be seen in the price action also so we are strong we firmly believe that whenever this uh, technically whenever the breakouts come in nifty and bank nifty we are heading for the fresh upside on the higher side uh, we are taking a uh, derivative call for the day uh, we have a buy uh, for abfrl uh, it's a future call in the range of uh, 342 338 the stop loss would be 330 and the target would be 356 uh, that's all from my end. Over to Buddy, sir, for more updates. Thank you, Bridesh. Uh, good morning, team. A uh, few updates from my side. Uh, starting with the banking sector, yesterday RBI has shared the credit card data for the month of September 2022. Total number of credit card imports continued to see the witness downtrend for the second consecutive month, and it stood at around 78 million. And the downtick was due to RBI circular, which says that players or banks should deactivate cards which were inactive for at least a year. As total enforced credit card, which increased by more than 1.5 million on a month on month basis, they witnessed downtrend for the first time in the month of August, which was down by 2.3 million. And similarly, for the month of September, was down by 0.3 million. However, while all the players have not reported the revised card in four details, players such, such as HDFC Bank, uh, which reported down by 1.6, access down by 1.1, ICCI down by 0.4 million, witnessed their card's portfolio getting impacted by the circular. On the other hand, if you see the credit card spend total, it continues to witness uptrend and cross the 1 trillion mark for the seventh consecutive month in the month of September. And the total credit card spend for the month of September grew by 53% on a YOI basis and 9% on a month-on-month -month basis, which was supported by the higher festive se season spending by the consumers. We believe that over the next couple of months, while other players report their revised active cards number, the enforced card number trajectory could continue to witness the downtrend. And these top players like HDFC, HCC, SBI, and Axis should continue to strengthen their market share in terms of new force card. In the banking sector, we are very much positive and bullish on this sector. And our topics are ICICI, Federal, Indusin, and City Union Bank. Secondly, on the IT sector update, uh, we have observed that all cloud computing tech companies has reported very much disappointing numbers in terms of growth. Also, in addition with that, AWS expects mid-20s growth in cloud. Cloud computing has a direct impact on Indian IT tech spends and it does not bode well for the Indian IT. That's why we are slightly hawkish or slightly <clears throat> neutral on the uh, hold, have the hold rating on the IT sector companies as such. Thirdly, on the media sector update, uh, the Bollywood movies like Ram Setu and Thank God which were expected to observe good demand from the audience have performed below par. Despite Diwali holidays, these movies have managed to earn just 22 crores versus estimate or expectation of 30 odd crores. Because Diwali is usually the best season for movie exhibitors like PVR and Anox from collection point of view. But this time due to the average response to, move, to movies, we expect Q3 could be impacted. On the other hand, if you see Hollywood movie like Black Adam continues to put a decent show with 23 crores of collection. This shows that the Hindi movies which contribute more than 30% of the total revenues of PVR and Inox are not being received well by the audience as the quality of the content still remains a challenge. This is slightly negative development for PVR and Inox, though it could have an impact on a short term basis. However, from a longer term perspective, on a longer term horizon, we remain very much positive and have a buy rating on a PVR and INOX with a target price of 2100 and 630 rupees respectively. Next is on the Mahindra and Mahindra. Mahindra and Mahindra uh, have shared Charge Plus Zone EV charging network company announced the partnership to set up a network of EV charging stations for Mahindra's range of upcoming electric SUVs. The company said that by end of this physical, that is FI23, Mahindra's EV user will have access to 2500 plus charging points across 25 cities. This charge plus zone charging station claims that provide 80 to 100% charge in just 20 to 30 minutes. 
and a full charge in an hour depending on the ev's battery size this is very much positive development for mahindra and mahindra and we have a buy rating with a target price of 1765 uh, yesterday sbi cards and payment services has have reported their num quarterly numbers which suggest that net interest income has as grew by 27% to rupees 1484 crores on a yy basis and much stronger profitability growth up 28% on a yy basis at 526 crores if you see in terms of asset quality asset quality has reported stable set of numbers as gross np has declined to 2.14% versus 2.24% similarly net np has declined to 0.78% versus 0.7% 0.79% sequentially that is on a q1 q basis lastly on the aditya Bar, aditya birla amc numbers uh, they have reported uh, slightly lower numbers if you see the revenue has fall by 6% on a yy basis to rupees 311 crores and similarly abita also degrew by or fell by 8% at 258 crores so which uh, however the positivity was seen on the profitability the profit was the net profit has grew by 11% at rupees 192 crores yeah that's it from my side over to you hitendra yeah thank you sir good morning everyone we'll see more further results of this starting with bel bel yesterday reported the earnings which is on q on q basis the revenue was up by 26% in 396 uh, 39, crores the revenue was up by 66% in 867 crores and their margin was up by 5% in 22% and their uh, pat was up uh, by 70% in 624 crores and their mbs was also reported by 0.86 so overall, good numbers. Uh, and secondly, if you see Tata Chem also reported their earnings. Uh, <clears throat> their the profit, uh, the consolidated profit grew to 628 crores, which was nearly three times for the September 22 quarter uh, year on year. Their profit also stood, uh, the same it was 221 crores. They also said that their net income stood at 39.62% at 4299 crores, and under if we see it was 3079 crores. Indigo said that uh, that uh, their wet lease of uh, they had received an approval for the wet lease to cater rising demand in the winter schedule, which will make up from October 30. And generally, wet leasing of leases is allowed for short periods to uh, to cater the supply constraints and to ensure that AFS does not rise significantly. Next, we go rail engineering on Thursday. Packed at 253 crore order to supply standard gauge ballast track to indoor metro rail building. The company said that, that this uh, rail order was they were the lowest meter that uh, LED had made it for 262.32. In this tower said that the, they will raise up to 2000 crores via N series, and this uh, was approved by the board in their Q2 F23 result, which they had given, which they saw a 44% year drop in net profit in 872 crores, while their net uh, revenue grew at 16% 7967 crores. The SW team says that the company's US unit raised 182 million long term debt from Italy, Estelisa, San Paolo, and Banco BPM in order to operate plate mill in Baytown, Texas. Out of the total financing, $70 million is under sales guarantee by the Italian government to promote Italian export, whereas the rest of the capital is terminated. CE Info Systems, Mapma India recorded a flat profit of 25.3 cents for the quarter. And against 25.39 uh, in the same quarter last week. Then the video jumped to an all time high of 76.31 crore, going 35% year ending. Supreme Industries also reported their earnings. The net profit was down at 53% and 59.65 crore, uh, down 68%. The revenue was up by 4%, uh, net profit was up by 53 and revenue was up by 4%, 1234 crores, down 17%. Abetta was down at 55% and 78.68 crore. And then margins were at 6.4% versus 14.4%. The board has also approved a stock split of uh, one share into two, and they are given a dividend of four rupees, which is uh, on 4th of November. Anupam Resign also reported their earnings. They recorded 15% rise in profit to 41.2 crores for the quarter index. And their operating revenues could, uh, was up by 25% at 310 crores. 
Vidhan the said that the cane uh, that cane oil and gas unit of Vidhan has secured approval from the Union Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas to extend the production and sharing for Rajasthan block until May 2030. In this contract extension will apply for a period of 10 years from May 2020 20 to May 2030. The initial license to explore and produce oil and gas from the Marmar block expired in May 2014. The government had agreed to, uh, to give a 10-year extension to this. This block was a settlement of 5651 crore dispute uh, over cost recovery for the same. And lastly, if we see today's results are Maruti Suzuki, Vedanta, Dr. Reddy and Tata Power, and JSW Energy in Bandhan Bank, and Dudan Express, and Sona BW Berlin. So that's it from, uh, from mine. I'll hand over to Shetisha for more of this. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Atindra. Good morning, everyone. Now we will do a call in Hindi. First update is banking sector. Ke upar. Banking sector ke upar update aaya tha. credit card month of September ka data aaya hai. Toh total number of credit card hai, wo abhi witness hua hai downgrade consecutive second month mein. Aur abhi ye 78 million hai, kyunki RBI ne circular uh, kiya tha ki wo require karenge ki reactive cash, jo inactive honge uh, ye saal mein. So, this credit card, which uh, increase credit card, wo increase hua hai more than 1.5 million month on month basis. Pe. For witness care, downtrend for the first time in August 22. Matlab, downtrend first time August 22 may uh, down hua 2.3 million. A similar trend continue hua hai, uh, September month, which down hua hai 0.3 million. So all the players have वो उन्होंने report नहीं किया कि revise जो credit card imposed details है वो जैसे कि उसमें HDFC bank है जो down हुआ है 1.6 million Axis bank जो down हुआ है 1.1 million Axis uh, और ICICI bank down हुआ है 0.4 million uh, उनका जो portfolio है वो impact हुआ है ये circular के वजह से so अभी हम लोग uh, believe कर रहे कि next couple of months में uh, other player भी है वो भी उनके जो report करेंगे revise active card numbers uh, overall, in our segment, the topic is ICICI Bank, Federal Bank, Indescent Bank and City Union Bank, long term. Ke se. Next update is IT sector. Ke upar, jo, uh, all cloud computing technology companies have reported that the growth is disappointing. Because AWS expects mid-20s growth in cloud and the cloud computing has a direct impact on Indian IT tech spains. And this will not be so good for Indian IT. So this is a little concern. Hai. Next update is on the media sector. Ke upar. Bollywood ki jo movies hai, Ram Setu and Thang God, uh, uh, we expect that there will be good demand from But the uh, performance is below par level. I mean, holidays and Diwali, it is so much advantage of the movies have managed to do just 22 crores earn. The expectations were 30 odd crores. Tha. So, ये below uh, ही expectations के नीचे ही numbers आए हैं। तो दिवाली एक जो रहता है, best seasons रहता है movie exhibitors के लिए, जैसे जो उसमें PVR और IMAX है, जो collection point of view से हम लोग देखे जाए तो, but ये time उनका जो average response आया movie uh, movies के लिए, क्योंकि जो content था वो इतना uh, impactful नहीं था, और हम लोग Hollywood movie देखे तो Black Adam है, वो अभी uh, decent show uh, और perform कर रहा है, वो 23 करोड़ का अभी तक का collection so, ने उनका तो अभी जो लॉन्ग टर्म मतलब ये स्लाइडली नेगेटिव डेवलपमेंट है पीवीआर और आईएनएक्स के लिए बट लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से देखे जाए तो हमारा बाय रेटिंग है स्टॉक के ऊपर पीवीआर और आईएनएक्स के ऊपर पीवीआर की जो टारगेट प्राइस है वो 2100 है एंड आईएनएक्स की जो टारगेट प्राइस है वो 630 है नेक्स्ट अपडेट है महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा के ऊपर महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा एंसिलरी जो है वो चार्ज प्लस सोन ईवी Charging Network Company. उन्होंने अनाउंस किया कि वो पार्टनरशिप करेंगी जो नेटवर्क ईवी चार्जिंग स्टेशंस हैं उनके साथ जो सेटअप से करेंगी बेसिकली ईवी चार्जिंग सेट स्टेशंस महिंद्रा के जो रेंज है अपकमिंग इलेक्ट्रिक एसयूवीज के लिए कंपनी ने ये बोला है कि ये ये फिजिकल के एंड ऑफ द एंड ऑफ द फिजिकल तक होगा और महिंद्रा के जो ईवी यूजर्स है वो एक्सेस कर पाएंगे 2500 एंड प्लस चार्जिंग पॉइंट्स ओवरऑल 25 सिटीज में so charge plus zone है वो charging stations uh, claim कर रहे कि uh, 18 to 100 percent charge होगा 20 or 30 minutes में 
और फुल चार्ज जो है वो एक एक घंटे में होगा डिपेंडिंग जो ईवी की बैटरी साइज है उसके ऊपर तो ये पॉजिटिव डेवलपमेंट है महिंद्रा के लिए स्टॉक के ऊपर लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से बाय रेटिंग है जो टारगेट प्राइस है वो वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव है एस बी आई कार्ड एंड पेमेंट सर्विस के नंबर आए थे क्वार्टर टू फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी थ्री में इंटरेस्ट इनकम है उनका अप हुआ है ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट से वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी फोर करोड़ रिपोर्ट किया है उनका जो नेट प्रॉफिट है वो ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स करोड़ रिपोर्ट किया है जी एन पी ए भी टू पॉइंट वन फोर परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है और उनका जो एन एन पी ए है वो पॉइंट सेवेंटी एट परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर बेसिस पे और नेक्स्ट अपडेट है आदित्य बिरला सन लाइफ एम सी के भी नंबर आए थे उनका जो रेवेन्यू है वो कंसोलिडेट फॉल हो चुका है सिक्स परसेंट कंपनी ने रिपोर्ट किया थ्री हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन करोड़ इबिटा भी उनका एट परसेंट से फॉल हुआ है और उनका इबिटा मार्जिन है वो एटी थ्री परसेंट आया है जो कि एटी फोर परसेंट लास्ट ईयर था नेट प्रॉफिट स्लाइटली अप हुआ है इलेवन परसेंट से वन नाइनटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट करोड़ का रिपोर्ट किया है देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है टाटा केमिकल के ऊपर टाटा केमिकल के भी नंबर आए थे कंपनी ने अभी तक मतलब जो रिपोर्ट किया है वो थ्री टाइम्स उनका जो कंसल्टेशन नेट प्रॉफिट है वो जंप हुआ है सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट करोड़ कंपनी ने नेट प्रॉफिट रिपोर्ट किया है सितंबर क्वार्टर में और उनका जो प्रॉफिट है वो स्टूड है अभी टू ट्वेंटी वन करोड़ पे और टाटा केमिकल का जो नेट इनकम है वो राइज हुआ है थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स टू परसेंट से और रिपोर्ट किया है फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन करोड़ द नेक्स्ट अपडेट है इंडिया के ऊपर जो एयरलाइंस स्पाइस जेट एंड इंडिगो है उनको अप्रूवल रिसीव हुआ है कि वो प्लेन से वेट प्लीज कैटरराइजिंग डिमांड विंटर शेड्यूल में वो बिगिन होगा अक्टूबर थर्टीन से नेक्स्ट अपडेट है इंडस टॉवर के ऊपर कंपनी रेज करी है टू थाउजेंड करोड़ एनसीडी नॉन कन्वर्टेबल डिवेंचर्स और ये फंड बोर्ड ने इसके लिए अप्रूवल दे दिया है जो अभी बोर्ड ने अप्रूवल दे दिए के बाद ये क्वार्टर टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री रिजल्ट के बाद उन्होंने फोर्टी फोर परसेंट की ईयर ऑन ईयर उनके नेट प्रॉफिट में ड्रॉप देखा गया है एट सेवेंटी टू करोड़ का और उनका जो रेवेन्यू है वो राइज हुआ है सिक्सटीन परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है जीएसडब्ल्यू स्टील के ऊपर कंपनी का जो यूएस यूनिट रेज है वो रेज करने वाले हैं डॉलर वन एटी टू मिलियन लॉन्ग टर्म डेप उनका जो इटली इंटेंसिया स्नैपलो एंड बैनिको बीपीएम जो कंपनी है वहां से और ये अपग्रेड करेंगे प्लेट मिल बेटाउन में टेक्सास में और जो उनका टोटल फाइनेंसिंग है वो डॉलर सेवनटीन मिलियन है और ये अंडर एस ए सी होगा इटालियन गवर्नमेंट उसको प्रमोट करके इटालियन एक्सपोर्ट और ये रेस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल जो है वो टर्म लोन होगा देन सी इन्फो सिस्टम है उनके भी नंबर आए थे कंपनी ने फ्लैट प्रॉफिट रिपोर्ट किया है ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री सेवन करोड़ का देन उनका जो इनकम है अदर इनकम है वो लोअर आया है वीक जो उनका ऑपरेटिंग परफॉर्मेंस है उसके कारण रेवेन्यू में ऑल टाइम हाई में जम्प देखी गई है सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री वन की करोड़ रिपोर्ट किया है देन सुप्रीम पेट्रो के भी नंबर आए थे नेट प्रॉफिट डाउन हुआ है फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट से रेवेन्यू स्लाइटली अपे फोर परसेंट से और वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर करोड़ का ईयर ऑन ईयर रिपोर्ट किया है कंपनी ने देन uh, बोर्ड ने स्टॉक uh, स्प्लिट के लिए अप्रूवल दे दिया है वन शेयर इंटू टू शेयर के लिए कंपनी ने डिविडेंड uh, भी डिक्लेयर किया है देन नेक्स्ट अपडेट है अनुपम रसायन के ऊपर कंपनी के स्पेशलिटी केमिकल जो कंपनी है उन्होंने फिफ्टीन परसेंट उनके प्रॉफिट दिखा गया है और नंबर्स प्रॉफिट रिपोर्ट किया है फोर्टी वन पॉइंट टू करोड़ का और उनका जो हेल्दी टॉप लाइन एंड ऑपरेटिंग परफॉर्मेंस था ऑपरेटिंग जो रेवेन्यू है थ्री हंड्रेड एंड टेन पॉइंट सेवन करोड़ है जो ग्रो हुआ है ट्वेंटी लास्ट अपडेट है वेदांता के ऊपर वेदांता का जो मतलब वेदांता के लिए एक अप्रूवल था यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस से जो कंपनी ने मे फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में अपील किया था तो गवर्नमेंट ने ये जो एक्सटेंड था प्रोडक्शन शेयरिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पीएससी राजस्थान ब्लॉक के लिए उसके लिए अप्रूवल दे दिया गया है जो अभी होके मे ट्वेंटी थर्टी तक होगा ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का जो एक्सटेंशन है वो कंपनी ने 10 साल बढ़ाने के लिए अप्लाई किया था मई 2020 से लेके मई 2030 तक तो ये अप्रूवल आ गया है 
इनिशियल जो लाइसन है वो एक्सप्लोर एंड प्रोड्यूस करेगा ऑयल एंड गैस फ्रॉम बारमेर ब्लॉक से जो एक्सपायर्ड होने वाला था मे फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में तो गवर्नमेंट अग्री हुई है ये टेन इयर्स एक्सटेंशन के लिए बट अभी उनको जो शेयर है वो हाइयर चाहिए ऑयल एंड गैस ये ब्लॉक से उसके अलावा भी जो उनकी सेटलमेंट डिस्प्यूट ओवर कॉस्ट है वो 5,651 करोड़ है लास्ट अपडेट है रिजल्ट्स के ऊपर आज बहुत सारे क्वार्टरली नंबर्स आने वाले होते हैं उसमें मारुति सुजी की है वेदांता है डॉक्टर रेड्डी टाटा पावर बंधन बैंक ब्लू डार्ट एक्सप्रेस सोना कॉम एवर रेड्डी तो ये स्टॉक के ऊपर आपको कॉशियस uh, रहना है uh, क्योंकि रिजल्ट रिपोर्ट होने वाले हैं so that's it from rn thank you everyone for joining the con call have a nice day